Formal speeches are straightforward speeches. In this speech style, the speaker avoids using slang terminologies. What the speaker says is something that has been prepared beforehand. Its complex sentence and noun phrases are well structured, logical sequence, and strongly coherent. Communication using the formal speech type is one way in which the speaker simply transmits information to the listener. The formal type of speech style often does not encourage listeners' participation or interaction among communicators. Public speaking commonly used a formal, informative speech. In situations where there is uncertainty in terms of receiving a favorable response, the speaker also uses this type of speech. For instance, if you are borrowing money from someone you are not close with, instead of saying, can I borrow same money? You may say, money is tight these days. Could you perhaps lend me some money? Instead of saying, I don't understand the lesson, one may say it is difficult to understand the lesson. Since the speaker is somehow detached from the message, it attempts to avoid awkward or embarrassing situation. Formal speech is characterized by more advanced vocabulary, longer, more complex sentences, use of one instead of you, and is appropriate for more formal occasions such as lectures, scholarly papers, or ceremonial addresses. In the Rhetorical Act 2015, Carl and Kors Hamble observed that Formal prose is strictly grammatical and uses complex sentence structure and precise, often technical vocabulary. A formal speech style is typical of using orations, scholarly books and articles, research papers, legal documents, job interviews, sauna, and many more where the atmosphere is serious and formal. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad to welcome all the members of the Mathematics Department meeting. Thank you all for coming. So, can we call this meeting to an order? Yes, ma'am. Are there any apologies for absences for today's meeting? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Enriquez is at his another meeting and Ms. Agupas is at medical leave. Thank you, Ms. Singson. Now, before we proceed to the purpose of the meeting, are there any amendments? None, Ms. Nye. Excellent. Now, moving on to the suggestion of activities we're going to hold to raise funds for the participation fee in the National Math Contest. Are there any suggestions or ideas? What if we make an escape room event during the intramurals? We can take the advantage of the amount of people visiting the school on that day. Um, based on statistics, escape rooms are very popular these days. In fact, it will be enough to raise money for the participation fee. 